today's video we're going to be going up to some random people on the street and showing them my new single and just seeing what they think, see if the Spanish rock with my music. Because in Australia, you know, it's been slow, it's been a slow build up. So we're going to Spain, seeing what the, the Europeans think of fluties. Finally time, finally enough procrastinating. Oh, I really don't want to do this. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't want to do it either if I were him. <laughs> These videos are going to be on TikTok. What draws the most eyes on TikTok? Girls. You said it. I'll just slide in. You let him do all the hard work and then snake. Oh, that is classic Ludi behavior. Ludi is the type of bloke to switch up on his boys as soon as there's a girl involved. Of course. Definitely. Take some time for the pre oh, I'll just get into it. Stop okay. Nah, we're gonna procrastinate Stop a little bit longer. I need to make it up to you. By any means possible. So I don't have to sit inside. We're just walking the streets of Sevilla now. What's that noise? Oh, Flutie, go join him. Cheeky Jew, eh? Where is he? Where is he? That bloke does not give a fuck about it. anyone who thinks he's singing in <laughs> full pelt. So we get to Sevilla, right? What do we do? <laughs> we get mad Sometimes you just need something reliable. New pussy good, new pussy good, but the homes you make if it was like... <laughs> this, is, this is the safe. Wowee. Using with your penis. City center. And what time is it? 9.30 and it's only like just getting dark. It's like nearly 10. It's like, yeah, nearly 10. Loose hands. Guess what I smell in the head. Do you smell that? You know what it smells like? Mm, I think I know where you're going. It smells like sand. Oh. <laughs> what have we got today? I'm San Miguel. Is it San Miguel a singer? What about Luis Miguel? Luis Miguel, Miguel. Just... So we were just before, we were looking. Looking for the alcohol shop. Looking for the alcohol shop. Looking for the alcohol shop now. And what do we find? Couldn't find an alcohol shop. Couldn't find an alcohol shop. I'm fine, I've been singing that for like the last 15 minutes. Here's some food, you know, no other. Oh, no, I don't mind it. But then we found an alcohol shop, we found an alcohol shop, we found an alcohol shop. Guess where we're from? Mackie's. Mackie D's, Mackie D's. Mackie D's. You wouldn't expect that it was an alcohol shop. Shop an alcohol shop. The next time you're looking for a radio and you're looking for an alcohol shop, looking for an alcohol shop, looking for an alcohol shop. Now, where are you going to go? You're going to go to an alcohol shop. You're going to go to an alcohol shop. You're going to go to an alcohol shop now. But we found an alcohol shop and it was Mackie D's. Ludo, what the fuck just happened? I just met these two skids, but <laughs> one of them more skids particular. Like, we're just making friends and shit, like as you do on a night out. Then we're like, like standing around a table, like just a normal table. And he starts fucking pissing. <laughs> Offering up. Blast my jeans. Uh, show us, show us. So we're just chilling at a table outside, and all of a sudden, bro just it's fucking cute. starts pissing. He just starts pissing. Pissing, like, like heavy. out in the open. Is that a normal thing in Sevilla? My shoes are fucking wet. Show us, show us. Nah, so, Lidskins, what happened tonight? So, tonight we went to this fucking dust bar. <laughs> dust. You know when they're playing ABBA, ABBA you know on it's On repeat, dust. two ABBA songs in a row. <laughs> See that girl, man. Oh, oh, give me a man up to fucking oh, fuck off. It's just like, just get stuck. <laughs> anyway, let's sack the recording off it's too late a little needs to sleep a little needs a dupe skin and need some prings yes a little needs some prings uh oh, i'll eat it see you tomorrow blah blah car about to go let's go to step on you and then make and our way from to... there we're gonna go to marbella so we're in marbella hs tiki toki land Bloke the bloke is everywhere, oh, man. Blokey bloke yeah, land, but we haven't seen that many chubby English oh, blokes man. yet. I'm alone, yeah, I'm hard to find. So many thoughts racing through my mind. Yeah, need to take a break, need to stress out on one. Always working on my sound. I feel better when you're not around. Mr. Baywatch over here. Right. It's rocky in there. Is it? I wanted to like jump in and I was like, ooh, I lost my step. This is what I'm eating today at the beach. We've got protein yogurt, no surprise there. Orange and a banana. Super healthy. And Pringles. Maybe for later. I don't know. It's oh, all deciding. Conveniently leaving out the Pringles. 
Yeah, yeah maybe. I don't know. Tell them the truth. Yeah, I, I, I'm eating this first and then we'll see how I feel later. But I was the same before. He's gonna eat the Pringles. Maybe. You can see it back there. There's like a calisthenics gym at the beach. Like there's heaps of calisthenics gyms here. Like actually decent gyms. Just like not like the one in Maruba and shit like in Sydney. Those shitty gyms. You can't do anything with them. Like it's such a waste of money. No one's gonna use that shit. Here it's like actually good. And Spanish blokes are just good at calisthenics because there's just so many calisthenics gyms. Police is coming now. Everyone's packing up their shit. I wonder if I just go back to something. Surely. <laughs> yeah. gonna make money. They're all going back. A minute of panic and then normal service resumed. Yeah, everyone's back now. <laughs> just one person sees cops and they're like, cops! Cops are like, ah, it's gonna be too hard to like chase everyone down. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what Ludo's up to. Oh, it doesn't smell great. So we usually have like something to cook it with, like a frying pan or something, but this hotel doesn't have anything, so. There's nothing. Down the hatch, spinach. The guts will thank you later. I'm gonna have some as well. They're so gross. So this is what we eat? Probably 50% of the time. When we don't have a kitchen. We get kebabs when we don't have a kitchen and we don't feel like spending 50 euros on a dinner. Sometimes you just gotta have a simple kebab. All right, we're at the tennis courts. Flutie is gonna play Ludie in a game of tennis. Who do you reckon is gonna win? Obviously me. So we're on center court. Of course, you know, where else would you put Ludie center and Flutie? Baby. Center court, baby, here we go. We got the friggin' grandstand and everything. To make this music, all I think about is your face. But really sorry, I'm not gonna ever change. For anybody, not even my baby, babe. I know I heard you swallow my pride and accept the blame. You say you love me, but soon you're gonna hate Three two to Ludi. Early days. He's definitely the better tennis player in terms of skill, but he's getting frustrated. He's getting. Oh, I get so fucking angry. He looks like hit the net or, or hit along. Oh. He's like, I hate this sport. I hate this sport. <laughs> Shittest sport in the world. Three two to Ludo. <laughs> Played tennis when I was younger. Ludo's like, you know, he's, he's dabbled a little bit. He's never had proper lessons or anything. It wasn't as convincing as I would have liked. He did have a match point in there, which I was fucking shooting myself. I was playing against a seasoned tennis player, so I was never the favourite. It was going in three to one. <laughs> yeah. Is it three to one? I don't know, like the odds. I don't know. I'm not a betting man, but it sounds like something that would be. Three to one. I was three to one. I don't know. I'm I don't not a betting man either. I'm not. He was more <laughs> favourite. I don't know. Three to one sounds like I was like. I, didn't say, chance. I don't know. Lower the numbers. Wasn't the lead. Thought I had him for a moment, but then the fatigue just set in. I reckon we deserve a Macca's soft serve. Oh, I get an Oreo McFlurry or something. So this is where we're staying in my bay. It's pretty nice. Like villas everywhere. We got an upgrade as well. It's pretty sweet. We're on our way now to go to the gym. Like there's this place in my bay called the Real Paddle Club, which is like really renowned for being like one of the best gyms in the world. So we're on our way there. The gym's actually located in Puerto Benus. I got a cue like a D-Block Europe song there. Oh no, copyright. <laughs> it is. It's rocked up. Real Club Paddle Marbella. Unfortunately, not in our Lambos just yet. They're still on the way. So to get a bus here, buses in Marbella absolutely suck. Just hit an arm session in. Let's go. So you got all your machines here. Outdoors, you got like squat racks and stuff over here. All over here, you got your paddle, paddle boards. I'm not sure if they actually play paddle there. You just take Instagram photos. I don't know. And then we've got like a normal kind of gym as well at the front. So it's got like heaps of equipment. 
crazy noises going over there. So our training arms, tops off, first thing, it's too hot in here. I've still got mine on. Yeah, just, nothing much to show off, you know? Got to wait for the pump first. And a lot of people around, a lot of influences, a lot of people on steroids. <laughs> don't get in trouble, don't cause any heat. Not just yeah, yet, not just yet. yet. But look at you, but look at you. We're using a 5x5 five five method with the overhead presses. All of our compound movements at the start of each workout, just starting 5x5 five five so we can progressively get stronger each week. It's only 40 kilos, this is my first week in this program, so next week just add on 1.25 kilos to each side, 42 and a half. Week after that, 45, 47 and a half, 50. When I hit a plateau eventually, I do a deload by 20% and start ramping up the weights again. So just trying to be more strategic with it just rather than just doing random workouts because when you're traveling on the go, it can be just tempting just to just do like whatever random workouts, but barbells and dumbbells are at every gym. So I thought it's been a while since I've actually followed a program. I've been maintaining too much. Time to grow. Yeah, time to grow. Accelerate things, why not? You're eating lots of food, eating lots of protein. Lots of calories, lots of protein yogurts, cheese. lots of cheese, man. <laughs> Just why not put them to good use and actually follow a good program? So that's what we're up to today. And for the news. For the news. <laughs> oh. those skins. A bit of a sway going. Bicep gassed. <laughs> Getting that hip extension. When the yeah. biceps start to gas, if you can safely hinge from the hips and push your hips forward to get that rep up. Go for it. Training glutes instead. Training the glutes. Oosh. Oosh. Completely trying to work on these mobility. World's worst mobility. What we're going to do, we're doing overhead presses, but it's going to do these hangs in the meantime. So we're going to do a supinated hang. Look at that rig. <laughs> it's just going to hang like that for as long as his grip allows him to. Stretch it out. Deep breaths out. He's going to, he's feeling it massively through here. Just in the armpit. I used to get that as well. And I had terrible mobility. I worked on it. And now it's not so terrible. It's quite a good session. We were there for way too long. It's like a playground, big playground for me. Playgrounds like kind of develop as you get older and especially being outside is real nice. But it's a little bit intimidating. Some guy was being a bloke. Fucking bodybuilders, man. What's your problem? Just be nice. Stop looking like the world's against you and like you've got a bone to pick. I've got a bone to pick with them. It's usually the guy behind reception, just looking grumpy. And then personal trainees usually. To be honest, I was probably one of those guys. Back in the day, geared up to my eyeballs. Just be nice. People are there for the first time. They want to be welcomed. They don't want to be intimidated. You don't need to be like bodybuilding jacked or like steroid jacked. You just need to be jacked enough to feel good and for it to influence positively on other areas of your life, such as feeling confident enough to talk to women or take your shirt off at the beach, feel good about yourself, have enough energy to be productive at work and to do shit that makes you feel fulfilled. Like that is like everything I stand for. Coach Lenny V, jacked enough. Jacked enough. <laughs> Being active makes you happy, and there's yeah. no two ways about it. It's just the way to go. If you're not exercising, like in any form, like it can be running, it can be yoga, it could be anything, you're just moving the body, I can guarantee you're probably feeling pretty shitty. So go exercise, just find something you enjoy, and go and get it done. The main area, Port of Anus, rich area. Bentley, yachts everywhere. I believe we're going shopping here? Yeah, mate. Is that where you're taking me? Yeah. What do you want? De delayed birthday present? I start oh. rolling. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ludo, Ludo, Ludo. What just happened? Good no cardio. You know what happened? You just lost again. Now it's 4 0 in the Ludo and Fluto I Olympics. Can't do the first set, no, you did not. First set was 6 3, mate. Yeah, what about the, what about the third set? Yeah, 6 0. I, I ran out of gas. 6 0. You can't go from beating someone 6 3 to just losing 6 0 because you didn't run out of gas. Yeah, well, that's your fault. It's 4 0 to, to Fluto and the. Ludo and Fluto Olympics. The amount of shit this bloke talks every single day. Shit. And then I go and beat him again, yet again, 4 0. Have some of that. Ludo, you gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. You gotta, you gotta get your, get your, get your, get your. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, how does, it, how does it feel, dude? <laughs> 4 0. Oh, I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> Oh, 
Luda. This yeah. is his video, mate. Oh, shit, shit. Oh, how drunk is Ludo at 10? I'm not very drunk. I just fucking lost my singlet, man. <laughs> <laughs> shit, oh, shit. What are you doing now, Ludo? Uh, I'm going to go head upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not hard. I'm going to do it. Oh, give me a try. <gasps> oh, the fuck? You idiot! Oh, I... Doesn't even know how to work your key. Oh no. Oh shit. What are you looking at? Yeah. Not my intention. But I see the resemblance. Yeah. Just in Malaga now. Nice big place. But there's freaking bed bugs. I've been like scratching. This, it's itchy. Itchy night. This is a nice street in Malaga. It's like all the shops. Now we're just walking past like the port. So you got all like those cruise ships, like, heaps of yachts and stuff here as well. So yeah, just part my yacht there yesterday. I think someone's just taking it out for the day, so that's why it's not there anymore. So we're just doing a quick park workout whenever we go past this little calisthenics place. Here's like the port. Over there, you can see there's a big building there, like the cathedral. That's like the main part of Malaga. It's like the city center. There's some shops, restaurants down here. And then yeah, it's got the park gym. And then over there is the beach. Finish up the gym session, now down at the beach, we're at Malagueta Chocrio, I think. But yeah, this beach doesn't look that amazing right now, but usually when the sun's out, this place is awesome. So the water's like super blue, but it looks pretty dusty now. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really do it justice, but I reckon like Malaga, the best place to go to in Spain, down the south at least. Like San Sebastian and Barcelona might be on par, but definitely if you're going like southern Spain, don't waste your time in my bay up. Don't spend too long in Sevilla. Spend a few days in Granada, but spend most of your time down in Malaga. So that's a wrap for this video. That's a wrap for Portugal and Spain. We're done with the south of Europe now. We're heading up to the motherland, Netherlands. We're gonna go see some family. We're gonna go to some coffee shops. If you did like this video, drop us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next video.